Florida changed a lot. The place I lived changed. It got really crowded and there wasn't a whole lot of space for somebody who liked to do the things that I did. And uh, took a few trips out here to Montana and started thinking that maybe I belonged here. And uh, turns out uh, I did. I'm John McIltrout. I'm a pointing dog trainer here in Broadview, Montana. I'm originally from Florida. I've been here in Montana for just a shade over 10 years. I've been a bird dog trainer uh, most of my adult life. And my name is Michelle Sutton. I'm John's wife. We train pointing dogs, uh, English pointers and English setters uh, for hunters and field trial competitors. Really what we do though is we help people understand their bird dogs. I enjoy being outdoors and I enjoy the, the dogs, the horses, just every aspect of it, and, and especially seeing the, the dogs improve. And we always call it like the light switch comes on, you know, when they actually get on a, a live bird, and then it's like, oh, everything that he taught me in the yard, this is where it's supposed to happen, really. A walking man at a distance really just kind of looks like a stick or a fence post. But when a dog looks over his shoulder and he sees the direction a horse is going, he doesn't have to try to figure out where he needs to be. He can see which direction the horse is going. The tradition is something that, that, that is important to me. I think it needs to be, to be maintained. Being able to be in the field and take a, a video of a dog doing right, and then you can share with somebody who's, you know, hundreds of miles away, they can get to see what we saw that day. Uh, and that, that, that's been huge. Yeah. Now that we have fiber optic, that's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, we've never had a better relationship with a phone or an internet provider. When you call, you're talking to somebody who's here in Montana. You're talking to somebody who quite possibly may, may know some of the same people who you know. Exactly, you know? exactly. Yeah. At the end of the day, you know, what matters most is what we've learned about ourselves from being around dogs and horses. Interacting with dogs and horses on a daily basis can, you know, if you let it, uh, it can polish the mirror. It can kind of give you a better look at, at who you are, or maybe who you need to be, you know.